When starting out in video production, one of the first terms you'll hear is frame rate. What is frame rate? Why use a particular frame rate? And when to use each one? Let's talk about it. Alright everyone, hope you're good. Let's get into it. Frame rate, or frames per second, is the number of images your camera captures each second when recording to create footage. Rather than seeing something in one big continuous piece of information, cameras combine individual images to create motion, hence the name motion picture. Think of the flip book you made when you were younger, the little stick man that when you flick through it looks like he's walking. The same principle applies to cameras. There's actually many different frame rates, however, three of the most popular are 24 frames per second, 60 frames per second, and 120 frames per second. The main reason is how we as humans see things. 24 frames per second is considered the gold standard in cinematic imagery, with most films still using it to this day. This is because 24 frames per second closely resembles the amount of information the human eye can process. 24 frames per second combined with a 180 degree shutter rule of 1 over 50 per second result in smooth, natural looking footage containing motion blur that is pleasing to the eye. But what about 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second? Now these are typically used to create slow motion. When you slow down footage, you're essentially stretching it out, expanding it, making it bigger. And with 24 frames per second, there's not enough frames or individual images, which will result in choppy footage. Now with 60 or 120 frames per second, there's a lot more frames captured within that one second which means it will fill those gaps and result in smooth slow motion footage. Now I hear you ask, well, can't I just record everything in 120 frames per second, slow it down when I want, and play at normal speed when I want? Sorted? Well, technically yes, but no. This won't give you the best results because when shooting at a higher frame rate, you're going to have to increase that shutter speed even more which is going to result in choppy looking footage which will just appear a little bit unnatural and won't look as good. Simple answer, it depends, it's all down to you and your creative choice. Me personally, I like to shoot all my real time footage in 24 frames per second because I'm a sucker for that smooth cinematic looking imagery. I use the higher frame rates of 60 and 120 frames per second exclusively for slow motion which creates that beautiful dreamy look which is excellent to convey emotion. On the flip side, sometimes action sequences are filmed in 60 frames per second and played in real time because the fast moving choppy look goes well with the scene and creates an immersive and visceral experience that you feel like you're there. Conclusion. What is the conclusion? At the end of the day, it's night. At the end of the day, having the shot is better than missing the shot. Be aware of the rules, but don't get hung up on them. Have fun, mix up your shots, and don't feel guilty about overusing 120 frames per second. We all do it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that and it helped, do your old pal Brett a solid and hit that like button. Subscribe if you want. And until next time, take care.